Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. So the human body and how it processes the food we ingest changes very little over our evolution. So thinking about the diet of our ancestors, if they ate so much meat, like in these paleo diets or the carnivore diets, whatever you want to call it, going back to the hunter-gatherer days, they would eat primarily meat all year round in the most ancient times. Even after the adoption of agriculture, which of course made humans a lot more stably able to access different fruits and vegetables other than meat, but still, even in the winter time when other things weren't growing, it would have been meat and animal products a lot at these certain times of year. So we wonder about the question, what was their cholesterol like? How could they be so healthy back then if their cholesterol was probably through the roof? At least in certain seasons it would have been. What would they have done? Because of course they didn't have lab tests and medication to keep on top of those things like we do today. But they had some other things that they ate unknowingly that lowered their cholesterol. And today we are speaking about a couple of those and when they are in season. Because I think we in the modern day have lost some of this wisdom. As always, this is not medical advice, I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, I have never spoke about that on this channel, I've never recommended any diets or supplements, I've only spoken about history here, and I've only ever relayed information from scientific studies that can be found in the description links as will be in this video as well that you can look up yourself. That being said, here are some foods that have been shown to potentially lower cholesterol and how long our ancestors would have had access to these foods and in what seasons. Number one, garlic, which is native to Europe and Asia. We have written records of it being eaten all the way in ancient Egypt about 5,000 years ago, but of course it could be much longer ago than that uh, for a wild and by hunter-gatherer people. Garlic is in season and harvested in the late summer in most places, but it is one of the foods that can last many months if stored in the cool, uh, dry conditions to last many months. So absolutely, garlic is something that humans would have had access to during the fall and winter when the slaughters would have happened and the meat would be at most time in their diets. And also throughout the spring potentially when the cholesterol would have been high. So garlic is one of those things that would help humans keep cholesterol down at those times of year with high meat and animal product intake. Next, turmeric. Turmeric contains a compound called curcumin, which has been found to have cholesterol lowering effects. Turmeric is native to Southeast Asia, where they have eaten it forever and it is in season and can be grown year-round pretty much as long as it doesn't get too cold. It does not grow very well in the cooler places, like in Northern Europe for example, but fortunately once it's dried and preserved and ground up into a spice, it has a shelf life of many years so it can easily be traded over long distances. So as long as Europeans had the Silk Road giving trade to the East, which has been at least 3,000 years, Turmeric was something we too in Europe had access to in smaller amounts. Next, ginger. It's been shown to reduce total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol levels in some studies by basically reducing the absorption of cholesterol um, from the intestines. Ginger is in general great for the stomach and digestion, so it's a great thing to get to your intestines anyway. It's also native to Asia like turmeric, and it's in top season in the early spring, but also when it is preserved, it can last a very long time to be traded all over the world, making it accessible for our ancestors in Europe as well. Next one is fenugreek. These are thought to work by reducing the absorption of cholesterol from the intestines also, and they uh, increase the excretion of the cholesterol and the feces. Fenugreek is native to the Mediterranean region and Southern Europe in general, but also Western Asia. So many of those places would have had access to it for thousands of years. Um, but now it's grown in many places in the world and used in flavoring all the way from Southeast Asia 
to the Arctic regions. It's a very popular ingredient just as flavoring. And it also has quite a long growing season depending on which part of the Fenner Creek uh, you eat. Uh, you can eat it from spring to fall, but you can use the seeds as well, like most people do, like as uh, tr traditional recipes. And the seeds are, of course, able to be preserved and eaten all year round. Next one proven, uh, artichokes. They contain compounds called carinine and chlorogenic acid, which have been found to lower LDL cholesterol levels in some studies. Artichokes are actually native to the Mediterranean parts of Europe, but they don't do so well in the cold north of Europe, and they don't have a super long shelf life, so this is primarily for people with ancestors from the Mediterranean area and surrounding regions. Uh, who would have eaten it for a long time. It is in season, starting in the spring, right after the time where meat and cholesterol would have been highest in the human diet. So this it also comes up at the perfect time of year. Another one is spinach. Spinach contains these compounds here that I can't pronounce, which have been found to lower cholesterol in some studies. Spinach, along with many other leafy greens, actually, we think is originally native to Asia, but it's of course been cultivated in the Middle East and Europe for at least 2,000 years, and there are close relatives that grow all over the world, too. Spinach is also in season, starting in the spring, right about now, making it another fresh vegetable that ancient humans would have had to lower their cholesterol levels after the winter. Next one, coriander, also known as cilantro. It's been found to have cholesterol lowering effects in some studies, and it's actually native to many parts of Eurasia, making it available to most of our ancestors for thousands of years. This one is in season though, a bit later, uh, starting in the summer and nearly far harvested in the late summer to fall. Final one that we'll speak about in this video is oats. Surprisingly, oats contain a type of fiber called beta-glucan, which has been found to lower LDL cholesterols. I did a video on the history of oats already that you can check out. It's one of the oldest grains in the human diet, and it grows actually very well even in the cooler regions of the world. It's typically harvested in the fall, but when dried and preserved, it has a long shelf life, and it was eaten by our ancestors all year round. We especially find oats in a lot of winter traditions. Again, this is the time where most meats and animal products and cholesterol would have been in the diet, so oats are a perfect thing to eat in the winter to help keep those levels down a little bit, just like our ancestors would have done. So that's about it we'll speak about in this video. Those are just a few of the foods that we can be pretty confident from the studies that lower cholesterol, but there are plenty, plenty more that possibly could be. We just don't have a scientific proof of it today, and we're not going to either because the pharmaceutical companies can't make billions of dollars, <laughs> you know, harvesting oats and coriander and things like that and mark up them for a thousand times the cost and make a profit. The point is, in this video, no matter where you are from, you have ancestors that could have gotten these types of things in their diet to lower cholesterol and they tend to be available at the times of year exactly when we need them the most. So I hope you enjoyed. Those are all good healthy options to try, but as always, check with your doctor or nutritionist before making any dietary changes.